it. Money is on the table now. One of these guys are going to become the legend of poker, the new champion. Your man, Han Lee, started out in fourth chip position today. You picked him off the rail, off the vine somehow to win because you like the way he came into the arena. Well, he certainly performed well so 20, far. 20,000, Chris says. Chris is raising this up. Maybe he's going to change gears here. Well, Vince, we both feel like he's got to change his style if he wants to win this tournament. He's got to become more aggressive. Well, that just worked because Han Lee just threw away his hand. I think what the people have to know out there is that in tournament conditions, heads up, you almost have to raise on anything. This is just a psychological battle between two players of who doesn't have the worst hand. And it's just picking up different clues, and it's a very different game at this point. It sure is. I can remember a legend of poker, Jack Strauss, when he played heads up, which was his favorite pastime, was playing heads up poker, he raised literally virtually every single pot. Well, at this point... Hanley has 425,000 in chips, and Chris has about 250,000 in chips. 20,000. Raise 20,000. He makes it 20. Okay, Hanley's on the button, and he raise. comes in with a raise. I call. I call. And Chris calls him call. with King High. Chris has he called him with King you. High. This is a raise new Chris because he has King Deuce offsuit. Both players in for 26,000. He's called him with King Deuce offsuit, and he's out of position. So let's see what happens now. The flop comes now ace, here comes the flop, ace, ace queen, ten. Nice for Han Lee. Well, Catch Han Lee's flopped two aces. Chris, on the other hand, has flopped a belly buster straight draw. He's got that inside straight draw. One could use that jack to make a big hand. But Chris is doing the betting. Chris bet 20,000 on the flop. He led into this pot. Han Lee called him, quickly called him, too. Turn card brings a five. Not a jack. A five came off on the turn. Look at Chris not hesitating, just betting away. 40,000. Now look at Han Lee. Han Lee calls him. Quick call. What is Chris doing here? Another five. Doesn't catch. And the board pairs fives. Look at him. He's still going to go for the bluff. This is actually a good card for Han Lee. I call. Call. And Han Lee calls him. We've got a king deuce for king high from Chris. <laughs> Han Lee has an ace. And Han Lee sort of laughs. Yeah, give me pie. that pirate laugh. He knew it. Han Lee never hesitated. He called him all no. the way down easy as pie. Oh, now, even Chris is laughing here. <laughs> Chris, a very good natured for a guy that just lost a lot of money. If you want to win in this game, you need confidence in yourself. Chris Karagoulian wants to win, and he's got confidence to burn. I'm going to win this. 100%, I think. I'll win it today. I'm one of the best in the game. I can be aggressive anytime I want. I can be tight and see the situation, depend on the situation. Sure of his ability, Chris can still put the game in perspective. To me, it's fun. Just play and have fun and try to control yourself. When I was young, I liked to gamble. I used to lose in 10, 15 minutes, 30, 40,000 dollars. I know, I mean, what, if I get mad, they're not cry, they're not going to give me my money back. Just program myself that it's over, it's gone, forget it. You can do whatever you want. As long as you know, just stop when you need to stop. It's in everything, not only in gambling. Chris Karagoulian respects his opponents, but he knows he's good. Yes! And he's confident. If you play good, you got to win. Well, this reminds me of it, the greatest no-limit player of all time, Stu Unger. He once told me, he says, Mike, he says, anybody can fire one shell into the pot. He said, but you got to have two greatness to fire two shells. Now, what that meant was, if you're bluffing out a pot, you'll bet into it once, but if a guy calls you, most people won't bet into it the second time. Right, they're too scared, they're nervous. Now, here's a case where Chris not only bet it once and twice, he bet the trifecta. He did it three times, Vince. Right, but the, maybe the one mistake he didn't do was, did he bet enough at the end? If he bet enough, he makes a $100,000 bet, maybe he loses Han Lee. That's a good point, Vince. In other words, what happened was there was 212000 in the pot, he bet 40000 Well, Han Lee's getting over 5 to 1 on his money, so certainly called 40000 Especially the board paired fives. That helped his hand. Chris is a new Chris. He's wild. He's crazy. He just raised again. Boy, oh boy. What did he smoke on the brick? I don't know, but Han Lee's calling it. Here we go. Han Lee's back in the pot with him. Han Lee with a queen nine of diamonds. Suited. Not a bad hand. The flop comes ace, eight, three. Three different suits. Chris is in front with the king high over the queen high. 
Chris says I'm all in. Look at this. <laughs> Let's get over. Chris is crazy. He's going all in with nothing with the king high. Well, Han Lee can't call him. He's only got queen high. <laughs> Chris is betting all in. Han Lee has time. He's staring him down. Look at this. He's thinking about calling him with a queen high. See, this is, no way. this is what great poker is all about, though. People don't realize you have to bet with nothing when you're in this kind There's of... There's no way. He's got about 90000 in Look front of Look at Han Lee. <laughs> he's laughing. He's got that pirate laugh again. Audience, please, uh, it's almost like he's thinking about calling this with a queen me. high. Like he thinks the queen might be the best hand. It's not far from the worst hand. He's pretty close. I'll say that for him. He throws his hand throws away. Throws it away. He showed him the king four. Ah, come on, king Chris. <laughs> come on. With king four. <laughs> Look at the Look laugh. at this. The joy of poker. Oh, I'm chicken dough. No, Think about Chris. He looks good. You don't see many poker players playing in a coat and tie. There's a saying amongst the pros that if you have a tie in your game, it's a good game. <laughs> well, there's a tie in this game. And I don't know how good it is. It is good. I'd like to be in it, wouldn't you? two players at the Bicycle Casino's Legends of Poker. Only one of these players will win the $258,000 first prize and a $25,000 seat at the World Poker Tour Championship event. Let's get back to the action. Well, whatever happens, Vance, you gotta give Chris credit. He has changed his tactics. I'll tell you one thing, he's put his sail the other direction and he's going downwind. Yeah, well, he's opened up his game 100%. He's a bluffer now, Lucy Goose. And here we go again. Han Lee folds. And Han Lee folds and gives up the pot. <laughs> Maybe Han Lee's going to the other gear. He that's may change right. his sails. That's right. Well, it goes to show you a totally different game with two players, tournament conditions. Now look at Han Lee. He was laughing and giggling. Now it looks like he's got a little more serious look in his eye. To most, poker is a game of calm reflection, a battle best won by separating the emotion from the decision. Now remember, I did say most. Oh! A lot of people call me Kamikaze, 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 my nickname like this, I know. And then I think, oh, wow, you know. <laughs> Han Lee plays his cards with his heart. I call you. He pushes the limit at every opportunity. Wild, reckless style. The man has no issue with putting all the chips in very, very quickly. Han Lee is uh, this guy you'd never know. It may seem a crazy way to play cards, but it's usually the other guy yeah, who ends bro. up talking yeah, to himself. One of those stacks is mine right now. <laughs> no half, Will. They say life is a gamble. If that's true, then Han Lee is living life to the fullest and loving every minute. I know one thing. Chris looks like a new player coming out here since they got down to heads up. He's playing fast. He can't let this guy just run over him, and he's certainly not allowing that to happen. Here's Han Lee on the button. He's picked up the 4-8 of spade. He wants to see a flop, Han he calls. just calls. Now Chris with an ace high. Race 20. And Race the best hand, he's doing the right thing. He's raising here. Yeah, ace seven with the button is a big hand these days. Call. Han Lee called 20 more thousand. We're gonna see a flop. So we got 54,000 in the pot right now. And here comes a flop. flop 10, 10, nine, four. four. Nine, Not a bad hand for Han Lee. He picks up a pair of fours. 40, 40,000. Holly bets 40,000. I'm all in. And Chris all moves in. all in. Chris, Chris is on a stone in. bluff with a seven. He moves all in. Which He's put Han Lee to the test here. I call you. Look Whoa. at Han Lee, the gambler. Oh. Han Lee says I call. Oh. Han Lee's hoping he's got ace, king, or ace, queen, and the two fours are the best hand. <laughs> and he's exactly right. Han Lee is right. He's only got ace high. But the seven comes on the turn. The seven comes on the turn. Now look what happens here. Han Lee can win this pot with a four, a six, an eight, or a jack. He does not get it. Look at Kamikaze. He made the correct call with a pair. He put him on ace high. He didn't think he had a pair. He called him with the two fours. He was correct. He got outdrawn with two to go. 
he still had a lot of outs to win this pot. This pot was almost 300,000. Whoa, what a turnaround. We're about dead even in chips again here. Hanley still has the lead, but the gap has closed. Well, Han Lee's fast sailboat turned into a rowboat with no oars. Looks like he's a little deflated Chris there by losing in. that last pot. Check. Well, this is an entirely new player. Chris has uh, totally changed gears for the better. Well, he's energized. He's pumped up. Seven, and here seven, comes eight, the flop. Seven, seven, eight with two clubs. Check, check. Goes check, check. They both checked. The nine, nine of clubs. clubs on the turn. Look at that. That makes the straight for Chris. 20. And Hanley's betting into him. He moved all in. Chris moved all in. Hanley's smiling. He made a straight. He's got a straight flush draw. This is going to put Hanley in therapy. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, he got his man out. Hanley folds. Shows the straight. Chris shows the straight to him. Now, are you kind of surprised that he that he didn't just play a little bit slower to suck Han Lee into another bet? Well, that's a pretty big raise. I mean, he had 266,000 more. I don't know why you'd raise that much. Suppose the guy made a flush on you, you'd be broke. But I'm surprised that is quite a huge re-raise, I must say that. Well, the action's on Han Lee. This looks like a different guy. I mean, this looks like a guy that's friends just didn't show up on his birthday. I mean, he is depressed now. He's a different player. Han Lee limps in. Chris checks. They both have junk hands. Let's see what happens. Flop is five, eight, Jack. Chris check, Han Lee check, check, check. Go well, Chris flopped the bottom turn. pair. Han Lee has got a three, four. He's got nothing. Seven of spades. Check. The seven check. comes on the turn. It goes check, check again. And the river. King. Now the king comes at the river. Chris checks. Chris has a pair of fives. Now the only way Han Lee can win this pot is if he bets. Tony. Here comes Han Lee. He is going to bet at the pot. Now, Chris has a pair. He has the best hand, but he gave it up. Now, Han Lee earned this pot, Vince. In poker, this is what you call when you earn your pot. When you're betting with nothing to pick up a pot, Han Lee's done that about three or four times here lately. And he's earned this pot. you got to give him his due. Absolutely. I mean, that last one wasn't a bet. That was a holdup. He's back. We're at the Bicycle Casino for the Legends of Poker. We'll be right back. James. Ah, that does it. Ah, put it in the contact lens in my eye, and uh, without my hands, it's more hygienic that way.